Ja, hallo zurück zu Life is Strange. Wir sind unten in der Garage bei Chloe im Haus und wollen hier mal ein bisschen rumstöbern. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mhm. Oh. oh. Either Chloe stole another gun or David is out there armed. Okay. Das hört sich nicht so gut an. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. There's more to David Manson than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Okay, hier ist erstmal nichts Besonderes. Schränke, hier sind Schränken, nichts, okay. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Oh, the map, okay. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Mm-hmm. Okay, the garage. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? Tja, jetzt müssen wir mal überlegen, wie man das aufkriegt. Ah, uh, shitty shit. Eins, 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 eins. Shit. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Yeah. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. Ah, okay. Uh, lass mich wieder zurück. No, bitte. Okay, geht. Das war jetzt blöd, ne? Wie komme ich da jetzt ran?
For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Tja, wie kriegen das jetzt raus? Mist. Sie einen Spickzettel gemacht irgendwo? Garantiert nicht, ne? Uh. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Ja, das können wir mal ausprobieren. Was ist da noch für ein Mülleimer? Oh. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Das ist vielleicht mal zurückdrehen. Das nicht kaputt ist. Das ist jetzt nicht kaputt, ne? Ich habe gar nicht geguckt. Ist der eigentlich... Ja, heil sein. Okay. I wonder if David is going to the party. End of the world party, ja. Da müssen wir hin. So, Chloe, warte. This is... Looks like David already booked a room. 638, okay. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. 
You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh. <clears throat> Na, da geht's ja besser. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. <laughs> Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. I don't think get well is quite apropos. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? <sighs> Time travel is such a mindfuck. So, okay, musst du wieder los, ne? Ab geht's. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us.
Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. I would like to go back to the dead end. I don't know where he One photo. For posterity. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Uh... I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Man. It's not That's like I don't own all the original apes, though. to clear away another batch of dead birds today. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week, I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I 
I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything... How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Get that food in your belly. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Hmm. Samuel misses Good to see his you out and about, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why. But that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all, after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... you might be the wisest. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. 
I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Also Nathan ist wohl vom Campus runter. Hm, Boys don't worry. Hm. Darf ich da einfach rein? Ich würde mal sagen, das gucken wir uns beim nächsten Mal an, okay? Also, bis dann, ciao.